Well, Jerry from Bliss Studio. And what am I gonna be working on in this particular demo? We are going to be looking at putting together a skateboard game. And with this skateboard game, we'll have three lanes that the user can move through. So uh, the far left, the middle, and the right side. And you'll be able to switch back and forth. So you're gonna be directly in one of those lanes. We're also gonna go ahead and set up a few little assets that we'll pull in to use for the game. We're going to be looking at kinney.nl. So these assets are free for you to download. And then we're also going to go to Mixamo to download a character with some animations that we can use as our skateboarder. Then I'm also gonna create a skateboard in Pro Builder directly in Unity. And if you like these tutorials, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next video is available. If you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are in Unity, and what I wanna do is to go ahead and I'm gonna set up the basics of what the game is going to be. So then we can then uh, bring in some assets to kind of like formalize and finalize what this game is gonna be. So the thing that I wanna go ahead and do is to start creating my environment. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like maybe bring in some assets to get, get started. So let's go over to... Uh, Kenny.nl. So if you go to this website, great place to get some free assets. I highly recommend you support Kenny and the efforts that they put together. Uh, again, this isn't promoted by any means. This is just a great place and definitely a great contributor to game development online. Anyway, uh, you can go to assets and um, here we have a bunch of different types of assets. So here we've got one that's City Road Kits. So let's go ahead and maybe download that one real quick. So, and then I'm also going to download maybe some buildings. So let's see here. Let's go City. Let's see what we have for some buildings. And here's a little modular buildings kit. So maybe we can uh, pull that one down. And I think that'll get us started for the moment. Um, the other place I wanna go is to, the other place I wanna go is Mixamo. Mixamo is, uh, Mixamo is by Adobe. You can download these predefined characters uh, that you can have in your scene. So let me just go through and you can look at the different characters that you can have within your scene. So let's maybe go with this little guy here. So I'm gonna use that character. Yeah, there we go, little backpack dude. And then you can go to the animations and apply these different types of animations directly to your character. So uh, if you wanna do this joyful jump, woohoo! Um, the character's already rigged you can then download these animations uh, and use those directly in your game. So let's go ahead and do this. I know that I'm gonna have my character do a jump. So let's do jump real quick. And I'll find the right one that kind of goes along with the skateboarding. So the character is a little bit sideways and then the face is forward slightly. So there we go, that's the right one that I wanna use. And uh, it has my character with it, it has the animation with it. I'll show you how we're gonna use these in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I want to uh, go ahead and download. I'm gonna download uh, the game object as FBX for Unity um, with the skin, which is fine. 30 frames per second I think is perfect. And I'll go ahead and download that. And then I also need one where the character is just on the skateboard skating. So let's type in skateboard for our animation. And here we go, we've got one where the player is kicking and one with the player just on. So I think we're just gonna use the one where 
that character is on. And I don't want the animation to actually move the character. So I'm gonna choose to have in place selected. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download that as well. Now I don't have to have it with the skin. I can just use just the animation. So I'm gonna choose without skin because I have the skin in that first animation sample. So here we go, FBX for Unity, without skin, 30 frames a second, looks good, and we'll go ahead and download. Cool, now that we have those, let's go pop over into Unity. And go into my Downloads folder, I will then look to see the uh, assets that I just downloaded. So I've got the City Road kits, and the Modular kits. I also have these two FBX files with the uh, animation and the skateboarder in them. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull those over. So let me just create a new folder here. So create new folder and I'll call this uh, models. All right, let's bring our skateboarder in. So I'm going to have the, the skateboarder and the jumping assets. I'm going to add those to my models folder and those are now imported. So here we go in unity, we have our jumper and the skateboarding. So if I bring those into the Unity file, you can see here's my little skateboarder guy. Um, I also have the jumping asset as well. So we'll come back to him in just a little bit. All right, so let's uh, kind of get our scene set up and we need to do some, some management of what we're gonna try to accomplish in this little demo. So first I need to find my main camera where that's at and it's pointing that direction. And so I need to kind of build my scene based off of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move my camera up because I think it's a little bit too low. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a quad. So a 3D, um, all right, I'm gonna add a plane here so we can have something our skateboarder can sit on. So we'll add our plane and Change that to zero. Make sure that's in our scene. Of course, that needs to be a lot bigger. So let's go with scale on uh, maybe 20 wide. And on the Z axis, let's just make that maybe 100. So it kind of goes way out there. Now I'm gonna put buildings on either side and so we don't really need to kind of have it go out too far but we'll just have this as a starting point. We can always modify as we go. All right, so I have the kind of plane set up. Let's go ahead and create a material for this as well. So I'm gonna add a new materials folder and I'll create a new material. And this is gonna be specifically for the ground. I'm just gonna make it gray so it looks like a street. So let's create a new, oops, not a lens flare. We are going to create a new material and come on, create material. There we go. And we'll call this street. And then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply that to my, in the scene view, apply that to my plane. And then I'm also going to go ahead and change the color of the albedo to a gray color. something like that. And then I also need to change my directional light, which is a little bit on the yellow side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make that white for now. And we can always modify it as we go later. Cool. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and start setting up a city. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do this really, really simplistically. So let's go and add a new empty game object. I'm gonna have this be just a container so it acts like a folder for a bunch of other game objects so we'll call this buildings and then inside of it I'm gonna go ahead and just create some buildings so what I'm gonna do is to just create some uh, 3d cubes and I'm gonna make those at uh, be a little bit bigger so let's go scale Let's maybe go uh, 10 by 10 by 10. So it's a really big cube. And then I'm also going to want to create a material for that as well, just for a building. 
And let's go ahead and just take the Y placement of that up a little bit so that we're kind of right at the level of our plane, which is good. And then I need to kind of move that off to the side. So let's go ahead and do that here as well. And something like that. So let me go ahead and just zoom out slightly. Again, I'm gonna I'm keeping this really, really simple for this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of start back. And I'm just duplicating this. And so there's a little bit uh, a little bit of distance there. I think that shadow is extremely harsh, so we might address that here shortly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I'm just gonna build out some city blocks here really quick. And I'm just selecting and duplicating so that we can have something to kind of fill that space fairly quickly. And I need to move that plane way down because we're starting up here. There we go. Duplicate those again. So I just have a big selection of blocks. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to select those and let's maybe have this be buildings uh, on the right. And then we'll just duplicate that and do buildings on the left. Now, it's, it's probably better to have this as a generation, um, but I'm, again, I'm just keeping this tutorial simple. So I'm kind of just building this out by hand really quick. And kind of that's where we're, we're going. Okay, so that looks all right. Again, this directional light is really, really harsh. So I think I might take the intensity of it down just a little bit. And the strength down slightly. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And then I don't like those buildings being so short. So what I'm going to do is select all these cubes. Now let's make those buildings a little bit taller. So we've got a Y of 10 on the scale. Let's go ahead and just make those taller. Let's see what that looks like over here. And then if you want to, you can like deselect some. So you can start creating a little bit of a range of what those buildings heights are. And then I'll take those and make those a little bit bigger or smaller, whichever. There we go. So now I have just a little bit of variety, which is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Let's just call that done. Hey, so in part one of this tutorial series, we went and downloaded a few assets from both Kenny and Mixamo. We then brought those into the project and we started setting up a scene for our skateboarder to go down. Stay tuned for the next part. We're gonna start working on the player. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon so you know when the next video is available. Until next time, peace.